Hey everybody and welcome to my plus size grandma. Y'all we made it. We made it through the storm. We made it through the rain. We made it through the winds. Hallelujah. We made it. Yes we did. I am so glad to be on. It's still raining. It's still a little windy but it's nothing like it was these first two days. Um, The power just came back on like an hour ago. And um, I'm very thankful and blessed and humbled. I'm excited. I'm out here in my car. As you can probably still hear the wind. Oh, God. Give me just a second. Let me answer this text. Yeah. But uh, I'm so thankful. I'm, I was kind of wondering, though, what was... What was people thinking? I saw so many ungrateful posts on Facebook where people were like, is this all Flo got? You better be glad that's all Flo had for you. Because Flo did Look, look, seven people lost their lives. Seven people. A lot of people were out power and stuff. So if nothing happened to you, you should be praising God more than anybody else. Because it could have been you. Should be thankful. And I, I'm just thankful that nothing happened. This tree didn't fall over my house. I'm thankful that my family was taken care of and my friends. I'm thankful for all of you that are able to listen. I mean, just be thankful. I'm seeing so many ungrateful people. And I'm telling you, if you really want, if you really want to act ungrateful, God will allow the enemy to come in and show you what it feels like to be grateful. He will allow the enemy to come in and torture you so bad and, and torment you so bad until you be like, Oh, Lord, I thank you, and I need you, God, this, I need you, God, that. Yeah, so you, you better be careful how you're ungrateful and not thankful. What was y'all expecting, Snow? <laughs> I'm telling you, I, I just, I just, I'm excited. I'm blessed to see another day. I'm blessed that I can wake up with my granddaughters around me. I just left my granddaughter. Y'all know I was going to stay with my granddaughters. <laughs> Especially um, Destiny. Destiny was a little scary at first when the lights went out. The other girls, they were pretty okay. They were wide open. But she was the only one that had a little fear in her. And we had to talk and pray with her till she got to feeling better. Other than that, we did great. We did great. My girls did great. We had our plans. We had our candles. We already had everything that we needed within our hands reach. We already had water. We had lots of water. We had jug water for the bathrooms and stuff. So we was pretty well straight. Oops, hold up a minute. Now, what I'm going to do with this day here, since I'm just getting home, what I'm going to do with this day here is I'm going to go ahead and finish this stuff, finish this writing up. So, I can go ahead and do another um, comedy show, Niecy, niece, I mean, Auntie and Niecy. Go ahead and get that show out because it's real funny and it is going to have something to do with the hurricane and stuff. I'm writing it in, writing the hurricane on in there. I had to write it on in there. And I'm telling you, it's, it's, it's going to just make you laugh and feel like you're just watching TV, like you're watching a sitcom at home. And it'll have you want more and more and more and more. So I'm thankful that God has given me that vision as well and that my dreams are finally starting to come true. I'm starting to finally see some increase in my life. And I'm telling you, as as God increases my life, He's also decreasing some of the people out of my life that I thought I needed. Y'all ever been in that place where you thought you needed somebody in your life, but you really didn't? I mean, that's the that's the point where I'm at right now is learning how to decrease those that aren't really adding any benefit to my life. Just showing up when it's necessary or, you know, when they need something. And taking my focus, distracting my focus from me. Just distracting my focus. Let me tell this dude, give me a sec. Yeah. 
But I, I'm still excited, y'all. I'm glad to be home. I love my daughter's house, but I love mine more. <laughs> I love mine more. I get up here and Lord knows I just do whatever I want to do. My prayer spot is still intact. Let me see. Hold up. I see something yellow up there. Uh, I don't know what that is. I'll walk up there later when this rain stops. But as for right now, the sun is starting to peek out. Hey, sun. Hey, sun. The clouds are still here. The wind is still here a little bit. Not much, but it's still here. We have some debris um, up at my mom's house. The pine trees, um, some of the limbs broke off and blew into the road and stuff. But down in the area where I'm at, I'm in a deeper part than she is. It's okay down here where me and my daughter are at. We didn't have any problems. Only the power going out. And like I said, the power just came on um, like an hour ago. So y'all know I hit my Wi-Fi up. <laughs> I hit my Wi-Fi up and just save my data. You know, every penny counts. So save my data. So I don't have to be buying data like that. They say unlimited, but it, sometimes it gets to a point where it don't work when it's like that. And you have to buy extra. So I have Wi-Fi at my home for my desktop which my desktop is where I really love to do my work at because I can just sit there at my desk my little studio and write and do my shows I come on here live and do shows you know when I had the time or depending on who's around I can't produce around everybody some people you're not meant to be around I'm, I'm the type of person I can work better um, when I'm by myself at home, unless they're actually specifically working on that project with me. Other than that, I don't like to, you know, just sit around people who's not doing anything, but they, they'll keep me distracted. That's why, because they'll be talking about one conversation and my mind be somewhere else. So I try not to mix business with, you know, pleasure and stuff like that. But yeah, I'm checking in with you guys just to let you know that the storm is passing over. Hallelujah. Oh, hallelujah. That song was on my mind, though. It's passing over. Sending prayers out for those families, though, that are going through right now from this storm. Could have been us, but God. I don't care what nobody say. I'm always going to um, reverence God because he is first and the head of my life. And, you know, I'm just who I am. I make mistakes just like anybody else do. I get frustrated and upset just like anybody else do. Um, I go through financial hardships and struggles just like anyone else do. But I never forget to use what God has given me. Um, common sense, spiritual sense, wisdom. I, I use everything he give me, even, even though sometimes I may feel down at times. Sometimes you get to a place where you feel down when you don't have everything you need. But then I look around and I'm reminded there's somebody else out here who ain't even, even got this. So I'm not worried about trying to be the best for anybody. I just want to do what is the right thing to do and the best thing to do in my life to help others achieve their goals while achieving my goals. Because you need, let me tell you something about these goals and stuff. You need somebody to help you when it comes down to your goals. Yes, you are the main person doing it, but at the same time, we need people. We need people. We need people to help us. And I'm just glad that I'm I'm able to have people that will help me in the areas where I lack and that I can push people in the areas where they lack. It's, it makes a big difference. It's major. I want to ride uptown, see what it looks like uptown, but I guess I better sit my butt still. But yeah, we, we need people to, to help, help push us and we need to be pushers. That's the way I see it. We have so many people that 
have such good dreams and visions and they never come to pass because they don't they run across the right people but they don't allow them to help them so <sighs> I'm not minding at all I do feel a little sleepy though it's this weather y'all this weather will put you to sleep like nobody's business matter of fact I should probably you know what ain't no should be about it I'm I'm saying that I'm gonna stay home tonight I think it's gonna be okay for me to stay home tonight I really do unless the power goes out so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna ride down here though and get my sleep apnea machine I I got all my other stuff but I got a feeling I'm gonna take a nap before I go working before I finish writing that skit out and hopefully I can release it tonight I appreciate everybody who is tuning in to my plus size grandma and helping me with this vision that God has given me and my granddaughters. Daughter. I left the Wi-Fi, so <laughs> I went out a minute. It's, it's reality. It's uncut. It's unscripted. It's, it's just who we are. It's just who we are, you know. And I'm one of them grandmas. I be I be pulling them people y'all blowing the horn, y'all. For real. I be pulling up blowing the horn. <laughs> Let's see if anybody is gonna come out. Destiny. Destiny. Destiny the first to the door. To the door. Y'all, I talk country, right? Hey, you and Lee bring my sleep apnea machine. Okay, bring it on. I talk country, y'all, because I am from North Carolina. And this is how I was raised to talk. I, I remember one time I went to New York. And I said, it's hot out here. And they was they just bursted out laughing. They were like, do you hear how you talk? I was like, what you mean? He said, you, we can tell you from the South. Oh, really? 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 Can you? Ain't nothing wrong with the South. Ain't nothing wrong with the South. Hey, if this is how you talk, this is how you talk. I, I remember um doing some interviews with some people from Louisiana. And when they started talking, I was no longer scared about how I talk because I was like, wow, they sound kind of like, huh? Thank you. Okay. Y'all want to say hey to y'all fans right quick? Hey. Hey. We are in the rain. I hear in the rain and the wind. You said at your house. Yes, I'm going to stay at my house tonight. Why? Because. What if it gets too bad? If it gets too bad, I'll be back down here. Are you going to stay down here if it gets too bad? Yeah, I'll stay down here if it gets too bad. You know, I will. I gotta go write the stuff for us. You know? Ain't you gonna act on the show? Oh, are you gonna have the show today? Um, I'm gonna be able. I'm gonna write you a part in there. When are you gonna do it? Whenever you come up there. After I write it. Okay. After I write it. What y'all doing? We're playing on kids' phone. Oh, okay. Well, y'all gonna have yourself a good time. Y'all go ahead. Bye. 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 Love y'all. That jacket didn't got messed up, girl. Bye. Love y'all. I'm going home and go to sleep first. All right, y'all. So, see, my girls be on point. I'm going to sleep. I didn't go to sleep last night. They did. I didn't go to sleep till about 5 this morning. Because it was too hot on me. So I, I stayed outside most of the night. Um, in my car writing and and praying and stuff. But I didn't. I didn't. Um, no, that wasn't me. I didn't go to sleep like that. It was just. It was too.